collapsing form from Bahama Rock is equitable participation in the development of our country. Okay? We could go through the figures, and like you said, like the gentleman uh, Steve, I think, spoke, you know, yes, you are injecting $20 million. The question then is, proportionately, what is the $20 million compared to what you're making? You don't have to answer that question right now, okay? But what happens is, what we are tired of in the Bahamas is people coming, taking, making promises, and leaving us with an empty basket and leaving us gone. All we, want, all we want is this. We have no problem with your Panamax, but there's a lot of us that are looking for more than jobs. In case for most of these people don't know, to me, job stands for chess for or broke suckers. Okay? There's some of us looking for, for participation from an economic standpoint. See, it's very good to say that the Panamax is coming and these whole bursts of information will be coming. Your plan actually cuts straight into between a Maroc in the back for uh, the 1,000 feet. I am privy to be able to understand what it is you're trying to do. But to do it at the, see, I call it exclusion. And my, my, my parents always told me, a lie is a lie is a lie. Be it lie through omission or intent. And so when we begin to exclude us, then you are lying to us. So what happens is, as you begin to plan for this whole Panamax, the question is, how can the people here, and even when your exit plan goes in, in another seven years, another 10 years, they're eight year old and they're 10 year olds and they're 15 year old, even your workers, how can their kids participate in this so-called development as far as linkages for other businesses, as far as preparation for, uh, we talk about the so-called globalization. You know, we, we, we talk about all of these different things coming in, but no one is telling us how to be prepared. It's like you say, we'll build it, then we'll tell you. Now, if you're gonna need some Salvadors, you're gonna need 50 Salvadors in five years, clearly if you tell us today, we'll be prepared with the 50, rather than saying five years, by the way, guys, we need 50. Sorry, there's no payments. We'll go down and get our work permits. And, and, and I know unequivocally that Bahama Rock has an exit plan. We need to know on your exit plan who will be assuming responsibility for this whole in the ground, the management, maintenance, and as such, once you, once you leave with your exit plan. Who, do you have somebody that will be assuming responsibility for that? Absolutely. Do you mind telling us? Not a bit. You, you've asked about 30 questions here. Um, do you want me to? <laughs> Let me, let me no, just I'm just, see the question I'm asking you, I'm giving you food for thought to telling you that we need more than what you brought. Right. Well, I didn't, I didn't, and that's, that's right. what I came to hear. Okay. I didn't come to give answers or, or speculation or promises. Um, what you've laid out is, is, a, is a massive uh, long view of, of, the, of the Grand Bahama Island over the next decades. We're just a bunch of rock crushers. and. Uh, We're just a bunch of rock crushers, and uh, that's what we do.